2013, going into my uh, 13th year at Baker University. Uh, first season here was year 2000. Uh, we've, we've come a long way, still got a long ways to go. Uh, but the kids that I bring in, uh, they do a fantastic job of being student athletes here. Um, you know, the expectation of this 13th season, you know, really get the kids prepared to, to have a championship run and possibly get to the conference tournament. Uh, we've got a lot of kids here that uh, have experienced the last two to three years, but we do have a big freshman class that some of the freshmen will have to play. So in doing so, I'm really dependent on the chemistry of the team and the leadership of the team of the upperclassmen that have been here already. So uh, thir year 13 is going to be a good one. You know, sometimes they say that 13 uh, is unlucky. I feel that 13 is really going to be a great year for Baker University baseball. Coach, let's look at your team overall. Um, we'll go position by position, you know, pitching staff, outfield, infield. Let's start off with your pitching staff. Talk about the guys you have in that spot and rotation and depth, things like that. You know, with our pitching staff, we have two guys that have got a lot of innings since their freshman year. That's Jimmy Grieco from uh, Corona, California, and Thomas Hawk. They've been pitching since their freshman year. Now coming to their junior season, uh, they are what we, do, what we call seasoned veterans. Uh, both guys in the last couple of years have averaged 20, 30 innings a season. So uh, we're going to look to them for great leadership uh, to kind of be sophomore and uh, Ryan Lesneski can go into their sophomore uh, season. Both of these guys have tremendous, tremendous arms and uh, our biggest thing is, that, is to make sure that those uh, their velocity doesn't work against them. They can their spots and they're, uh, be able to pitch ahead in the count. So uh, with that pitching staff, our bullpen wise, uh, you know, we've got a lot of kids that we can run out there. Uh, our whole biggest thing is make sure that their confidence level uh, is at a level that they know that they can get out. Uh, here at Baker University, we have a big ballpark, so we don't ask too much of our pitching staff to get strikeouts. We just want the ball put in play so that our good defense can feel the ball behind them and, uh, and get out. So the pitching staff overall, they're a very versatile group. Uh, we have four or five guys that we're going to look for for leadership. Uh, Jimmy Griegel, Thomas Hawkins being two of the main starters, and then coming in with uh, Ryan Lesneski and Caleb Lee as some of our power throwers. How about in that deep, you know, outfield? You've got a lot of room out there, like you said, 375, 400 dead center. You have some guys out there that can, you know, uh, cover some ground. And then how about some depth there too? You know, with our team speed in the outfield, that's one of the things that we have to get here uh, for the simple reason the ball doesn't carry, so the gaps are large. So with that, you have to have guys that can track the ball down. And we have two uh, two veteran guys, via Josh Zach from Olathe East High School and uh, Brett Legion from Emporia High School to where those, both of those guys have had experience since their freshman year. And Josh Zach, matter of fact, has been a starter since his freshman year. And this will be his first full time in center field. But uh, either one of those guys can play center field because they, they both do really good jumps. They read the ball well off the bat and uh, they, they do a good job of tracking. Uh, this year we'll probably have a freshman starting in left field. A young man named Neil Boyce from uh, Sumner Academy in Kansas City, Kansas. Uh, tremendous speed. Neil gets great jumps. Uh, he's one of the reasons that we have that uh, versatility in the outfield. Um, we brought on board two or three more freshmen. Uh, Charlie Coleman, who does a great job in the outfield from Maryville, Missouri. And then uh, Michael Hobbs is a junior outfielder. That uh, He's an offensive guy, mainly an offensive guy, but if he gets his opportunity, I know that he does well in the outfield. So when we recruit for Baker, we really recruit speed in the outfield because our gaps are so big. Now let's bring it into the infield. We'll talk about um, each spot, you know, third, short, second, first. Some of the guys we may see out there, and guys that come off the bench and help out at different spots. We'll start with uh, third base. Uh, third base, we have a four-year starter in Brian Kimber. Uh Brian's from Eudora, Kansas. He came in as a catcher, and uh, we needed to fill the void at third base. So uh, we put Brian there as a freshman, and he's really made a home there and made himself a tremendous, tremendous third baseman. Uh, so he'll be anchoring third base, and he'll also be batting the four hole. So he brings a lot of, lot of uh, leadership to our ball club, a lot of tenacity and, uh, and, and a great leadership. Uh, at shortstop, we'll probably be starting Matt Fry, uh, a junior from Fort Kansas. Uh, Matt's been a utility guy the last couple of years, and he's actually had some freshman starts at shortstop uh, when we had some injuries early on. So he's kind of a veteran as well and understands what college baseball is all about, the speed of the game, and a very, very headsy guy. Uh, at shortstop for us. Uh, Corbin Francisco is another kid that uh, has the ability to play. Uh, we're working through some issues with him with injuries and whatnot, but uh, he may anchor that shortstop position as well uh, once he comes off his, uh, his uh, challenges that he has physically. Uh, at second base, we'll probably have Tevin Thompson from Blue Valley Northwest starting. 
Uh, Tevin started some games at short and at second last year as a freshman. So uh, he brings some versatility, he brings some experience. Um, this is kind of a, a tell-off for Tevin because this will be the first time that he's actually a starter and the main guy at second base. Uh, at first base, we bring a senior, which is uh, Justin Lane from Gardner, Kansas. And uh, Justin's been our, mainly our pinch hitter off the bench the last three years. And this year as a senior leader, uh, he's kind of anchored that uh, first base spot. Uh, he's made himself a tremendous defensive first baseman, and we're hoping that we'll get a lot of, uh, a lot of thunder out of his bat, so to speak, because he's a big man. Uh, he hails about 6'3 and about 230, and he packs a wall up in his bat. So we're hoping that he can uh, get the head out a little bit and uh, uh, have, have some good things. And then uh, lastly, we'll talk about your catchers behind the plate, you know, who you're looking uh, to play back there and, and help out the defense and your pitching. Okay, uh, the catching core uh, mainly will be uh, Ryan Turstrom and uh, Miles Sanderson. Miles uh, is a junior college transfer from Allen County. Pre-med, very, very bright kid. Both of these kids have tremendous talent, tremendous catching ability. Uh, one thing at the college level is that you don't want to wear your catchers out. So uh, we've got two pretty good guys that will platoon to make sure that their legs stay healthy and their arms stay healthy. Um, Ryan Turstrip, uh, he's a sophomore from Payson, Illinois. And uh, he, he has a little thunder in his back. I would say out of the two, Sanderson may be the most consistent stick. Uh, Terstrup has a little bit of power, but equally, they both catch the ball in the game. And that's one of the big things with us here is with our catcher. We want them to be great leaders to lead the pitching staff and understand what pitch restraints that our pitching staff has and make sure that we call our game accordingly. All right, Coach, so we've gone through the team and, and uh, you know what, what fans can look at this season on, on your 23 staff. Um, Talk about just you guys get started here in a couple weeks. You go down to Rogers State. Uh, what do you guys expect once the season starts? And then overall, you know, what can everyone expect from, from your team come when, you know, when you guys get started back here? You know, we open up Rogers State. It was the national number of players. And this year, the season number five in the nation. So um, we're, we're, we're going to go down in some stiff competition right out the gate. So uh, I'm always telling my players, you know, don't shy away from competition. That competition is always good. And it raises your level a little bit of your of your level of play in the comp competition. Uh, our expectation level really is just to go down and evaluate, see where we're at, because our whole goal is to get better every day leading into the conference season. Um, one of the things that I didn't express early on is that you know we have a young group of freshmen that are coming in that are very very athletic, and that we'll probably have quite a few freshmen that'll get some spot playing time uh, to kind of get them acclimated for uh, years down the road. A uh, young man from uh, Pine Top, Arizona, named Ethan Jacks. He'll be our backup third baseman. We got two middle guys that are freshmen that do a great job uh, with their physical abilities and, and their athleticism. So uh, our whole thing is early on in the season, get as many kids as we can, some great experience in that conference run, so that uh, they know that they, they can be in the thick of things if we really prove that uh, we're we're, we're a conference uh, standout.